Hello, church family. Welcome to our kitchen. We just finished breakfast, as you can see, and wanted to check in with you quick as we prepare for worship this weekend. Uh, this Sunday is the first Sunday of the month. It's April, and as we do at the Y, we're going to celebrate Family Communion Sunday. Um, typically, that's where all the kids stay in worship with us, and uh, we receive communion and share blessings with the kids. So we're going to do that in our homes this week. And I wanted to just let you know to be sure to have a couple of supplies on hand if you'd like to participate in that part of our worship time. Uh, you can just find bread in your kitchen or maybe crackers. Uh, either of those are great options for communion. Uh, you might want to cut it up too into smaller pieces. And then also either, just as we use at church, either wine or juice, uh, you can find and use that. It doesn't have to be fancy. Uh, but have those on hand and ready to go on Sunday uh, when we gather remotely for worship together. That would be great. Also, it's uh, Palm Sunday. It's the beginning of what we call Holy Week. And so I was just outside and took a, a shears and, and made my own palm branch. And so if you have an opportunity to do that, to get outside, um, we're going to use those in worship time together as well. And so it's not going to be a palm branch up here in Minnesota, but find something that you can use to wave around as we sing and worship together. Uh, other than that, just want to reference to the later part of Holy Week. You maybe have wondered about Good Friday and Easter Sunday, and of course we've been watching day to day and week to week uh, what to expect. And so we're now, uh, as well as all the other local churches, uh, preparing for uh, Good Friday, Easter Sunday to happen just like this. Uh, we'll be in our homes and we will worship together online and uh, that is just what this season is going to look like so good friday there will be a service at 7 p.m and that's on april 10th and then on easter sunday uh, typically at the y we'd have two services uh, to fit uh, all the people but we'll just have our sunday service for easter sunday at 9 30 and so we hope you can join us there uh, one last note i just wanted to say thank you on behalf of my family i had shared on sunday that uh, my brother-in-law, Esther's brother, died very suddenly, and uh, we just have been so touched by uh, the many cards and flowers and meals and things that have been sent our way. Um, thank you for sharing your words of sympathy with us. It's really been a blessing and an encouragement to us. And with that, too, even just this morning as we were, uh, as a family, remembering um, Joe was his name, we were remembering the words from John 11:25 where Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will live even though they die. And so we're clinging to those promises and uh, really look forward to celebrating that truth with you as well this Easter. So first get ready for Palm Sunday uh, and to celebrate communion and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.